subscribe to Cooking and Travel by Dr. Papure Borua and press on the bell icon for all notifications. Good morning everybody. Today I happened to get this from my vegetable rooftop garden and I thought let me, the moment I see something like this, I feel alright, I need to make a, a something to do with the banana leaves. And today, let me work out before you another variety of fish in banana stem. I promise I'm going to do chicken next time, but this time, let me work out before you fish in banana stem. We're going to use coconut for, a, for instance and something else like last time I did not use. Say, I'm going to use also, I guess, some onions and some ginger garlic paste and everything together that will make it a spicy dish that's mouth watering. So, let me introduce you to the ingredients. What have I done here? I have taken rohu fish. In fact, this is a variety of river water fish, and you can choose any river water variety of fish that you have. Now, smeared with uh, turmeric and salt for almost one hour. So, apart from that, I'm going to I'm not going to fry it. I'm going to use it like this only. I'll need some ginger garlic paste. Here I have around 4 tablespoons of fresh coconut there. This is the variant I'm using this time. And one onion that I've chopped which, I, which is going to the mixer anyway. And around 4 or 5 cashew nuts. And I'm going to, I have 3 pieces of fish. So I have chosen 3 chilies there. Here I have mogos or melon seeds around 3 tablespoons there. This is poppy seeds or afuguti as we call in Assamese. This is another three tablespoon there. This has also been soaking there. Both of them have been soaking for last 20 minutes in water. I will need around two and a half tablespoons of mustard seeds. Now all of these will actually go into making this spicy dish and spicy fish curry. And so let's start cooking there. The first thing we need to do, we need to grind a few things. Because it's a very easy recipe, we need uh, another element or another ingredient, which is the mustard oil. Because when we talk about banana leaves, when you talk about steaming the fish, uh, the mustard oil is an important ingredient. Right? Okay. Now let's do this. First of all, we are just going to wash these two together. And then these three will be... We'll put it in the mixy or, or you can traditionally do it in the pestle and mortar also. But I am just going to uh, put in the mixy and give it a nice mix. But these will not go into the mixy. Let's do one thing. All these will go into the mixy. The four of them, one, two, three, four, five of them, they're going to mix it and give it a fine paste that we want. So I've washed all these three ingredients as I told you and this is going into the mixer. Sometimes what happens when you have mustard, it might turn a little, uh, you know, bitter. So what we do is that I normally choose the yellow mustard and secondly is that I put in one chili there which is really going to cut off the thing, uh, the bitterness and one. Uh, this is a, a pot of garlic there and of course these two will also go in now here and also this one and one more thing that goes in is a small teaspoon of turmeric powder okay and a little bit of salt so little bit of salt that i'm putting in i'll give a little water and give it in sorry give it a nice mix there so after a long whisk in the mix see see how smooth it is this is one of the reasons you know you need to take in it's very important to take in into care that you really need to grind it very very smooth otherwise it might be bitter another reason why it might turn bitter so this is the way i'm doing it so i'm just going to take out everything that's there and then mix at this moment you can check in for the salt if you want all right and i'll just mix in the coconut the coconut also goes in I guess uh, I would love to have a better color here. So I just add some uh, Kashmiri red chili powder for the color. Some people like this color. They may choose this color. But I would love to have the, a little more of the color in my dish there. And some yellow that I'll put in with the turmeric powder. 
so just a pinch a little bit half a teaspoon i guess of kashmiri red chili powder a little bit of haldi powder also goes in there and i guess i'll need to put a little more of salt because i've put in the coconut the coconut will have its own sweet taste there so a little bit but i need to remember that i already have salt here so a little bit of that goes in and a little bit of the ginger garlic paste okay little bit of the ginger garlic half a teaspoon i'll not put much it shouldn't be overpowering i want the other ingredients to overpower in their flavors so that's done now i have to work with the banana leaves i've washed the banana leaves on both the sides and i just cut it i want a single single piece of fish today in each of the patties as we call it so here's one and the other two will go here right so i'm just cutting it off Okay, and getting it ready. Now I need to really warm these up over the gas so that they are they can become foldable. Right. So I just warm it up on both the sides a little bit. Do not really have to really burn up. You see, they become softer, and that way it will be easier now for me to put in the piece of fish there. I'll just put in some. mustard oil also because uh, this is one main ingredient there we need the smell of the mustard oil two big tablespoons there we'll give it a nice mix there this is the mixture that will go in smear on the fish there right okay so this is ready my piece of fish is ready i just smear it with the paste and we get going so this is done in a way okay and then i'm going to put in one spicy little red color on the top that is the chili there and put in more because this is one portion in a way we just have a give a wash and then come back now we need the toothpick there right so this is done one fold the second fold see how smooth it has become because we had really put it over the gas there another fold there and another fold there and we're going to stick them together with this toothpick all right done so my first patty is ready or the fish in banana stem ready to go to cook So I've taken a non-stick pan there. I just put in some oil. That is, uh, you know, this is the mustard oil there. And then heating it there. We just put in this on very slow flame. So all these will go in, and we cook it covered for at least fifteen to twenty minutes. So now it's time to cover and wait in anticipation for the spicy and yummy dish. Cooking for almost ten minutes now. I'll just try and invert it, you know, so that the other part is other side is also cooked. So like this, I'll cook and cover for another say six or seven minutes, or if necessary for ten more minutes on very very slow flame. So after seven or eight minutes, this is done, and my uh, the fish in banana leaves it's done and ready to be served. Open one and see how it looks there. Okay. See? Wow. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? And in fact, this is ready to that's ready. Doesn't it look yummy? And it's steaming hot. I hope you like this recipe of mine. Do give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching.